Hi, I'm Bill Loden, and I'm here to explain what is Windows Azure and why is it in the cloud? When we refer to the cloud, what exactly do we mean? Um, what exactly is this? Well, it's a cloud. Really? That looks like a cloud to you? Well, when we say cloud, we don't mean a real cloud. It's, it's a metaphor. Well, if it's a metaphor, then why isn't this video called What is Azure and why is it in this flat tire I just drew? I thought we agreed that I would do the presentation and you wouldn't embarrass me. Yes, well, you doing the presentation is what is embarrassing you. So, do you want to explain cloud computing? That wouldn't be my first choice, no. Well then, why don't I continue? Fine, but I'm taking over the pictures before I look like a preschool refrigerator. As you wish. Now, when we're talking about the cloud, we're talking about taking applications off our desktop and off-premises and hosting them online. On-premises computing can be expensive. You need to buy the hardware and the software. You need to worry about licensing. And you have to pay people to maintain everything, not to mention upgrades and real estate costs and electricity and a whole slew of other expenses. Sounds like my timeshare in Boca Raton. Well, you could say that the cloud is the latest step in the evolution of computing. We started with on-premises computing, and then along comes SaaS. SaaS is software as a service. With SaaS, someone else provides the software and hosts it on their own hardware. You just subscribe to it, and you access it online. Oh, like the cheese of the month club. Well, the downside to SaaS is that there's limited customization options. And depending on your usage, a subscription model isn't always cost effective. So wouldn't it be great if there was a way to avoid these problems? Wouldn't it be great if when someone pulled your finger, money came out of your... Then we have virtualization. Virtualization allows you to package everything your application needs and run it from anywhere. Now, servers can be shared by many applications, and applications can run virtually on many different servers. That sounds like my uncle's place in the 60s. Well, that leads us to the cloud. In the cloud, you get all the benefits of SaaS, but you can customize your own application any way you need it to. Plus, you can take advantage of utility computing. Utility computing. Let me guess, that's a computer that can play anywhere in the infield. Well, utility computing is where you pay for what you use. Think of it like your telephone. You might pay a low monthly charge, but after that, you only pay for the calls you make. If you don't make any calls, it doesn't cost you any money. But if you're on the phone 24 hours a day, well, then you're really popular. And if your application is really popular, you're going to pay for it, but that's really a good problem to have. I hate to bring up the elephant in the room, but this video is called What is Azure and Why is it in the Cloud? So what is Azure? Because I'm on the edge of my seat. Windows Azure is Microsoft's implementation of cloud computing. And in our next video, I'm going to explain how it works. Next video? How many of these things are you going to do? as many as it takes. Well, I guess my birthday just came early.